Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by Woven. This was a really cool mystery adventure game that I got to try out, and the link to download this game will be down in the description. Take care. Hey everyone, my name is Stuffy, and I'm a stuffed elephant. And above me here is my friend Glitch, and I guess he helps me a lot with this knitting machine, so we're gonna go and check it out. Alright, Glitch, go do your thing. He's gonna go up there. Okay. Alright, so to my left, I'm guessing these are the animals I can turn into. I think this is a raccoon, so if I just click his head, what'll happen? Let's see. Okay, so I turned into the raccoon. Alright, I'm gonna turn into something completely random, and we're gonna have a drum roll. In five, four, three, two, one! Ta-da! I have no idea what this is, but this is my creation. As you can see at the bottom, those are frog legs. And the top is a bird. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But anyways, let's talk about all the different kind of knitting and colors. Right here we got plain. And uh, yeah, you can just change everything you want pretty much. If you want a different kind of knitting, here's knitted. I think knitted is my favorite one. Let's change his beak uh, a little bit to knitted. There we go. There's patterns as well. Here we got a giraffe pattern. I don't know where we could put this. Oh, maybe we can put it in front of his stomach. Yeah, there we go. I like these colors. I like these colors. But yeah, guys, that's the knitting machine. You can do a bunch of different kind of unique designs and animals. Again, I have no idea what kind of animal this is, but he was pretty fun to make. Anyways, moving on to our adventure. We have a story to complete. There's a mystery to this knitted world, and I have to figure it out. There's a cave over here. All right, let's see. Can we enter it? Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave. Okay. Mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Oh, so Glitch has a light. All right, so now I'm not gonna be afraid to go inside the cave alone. Let's go, Glitch. A light bulb? All right, let's test it. In the Whoa, darkness, this is pretty Glitch's sick. light gave the cave a reverent glow. What? Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Oh, these are my people's drawings. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now? Yes, where are my people? Glitch, do you know what happened to my people? I gotta go find my others. My other woven family. I'm the only one. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait a minute. Is there more ridiculous looking motherfuckers? Oh, there's a different machine here. Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view. With arms like that of an insect, limp and still. All right, so we found another machine. And I think Glitch is able to use it too. We're gonna check it out. All right, test it out, Glitch. What do you got? What is this? Huh? Oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, we're making a, we're making a beat. We're making a beat. Look at this. I make fire beats. I make fire beats. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We're here at Woven. Woven. Oh, a new blueprint. That's what they are. Okay, so this is how I made a bunch of different kind of animals. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Wait a minute, I get what he means. Okay, okay, so each different world is going to require me to have some sort of different body part. So I have to adapt to each different world. I have to make a new character that'll help me in each world. That's pretty cool. See, there's a mystery. There's a mystery to this game, and we gotta figure it out. I really like how colorful this game is. It's pretty fucking cool. Wait, what is this? Is this a snake? Okay, we're gonna- we're just gonna hope that it's friendly. The big snake looked stuffy up and down, and shook his head with a passion. Could it be because their outfits did not match? What? You don't like how I look? Glitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. Well, me neither. But apparently they do. All right, all right, snake. You don't like how I look? Well, I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll show you. Honestly, I, I have no idea what it's gonna... What it's gonna take to impress that snake, but we're gonna- we're gonna just randomly try this. All right, let's see. Could it be something that snakes eat? 
Maybe a frog? All right, I'm gonna be a frog. Maybe maybe it's something that snakes eat. And ta-da, I'm a frog. I gotta look a little bit more pleasing though. These colors don't really go good with this frog. We're gonna make myself all green and knitted. All right, let's test this out. Let's go back to that snake. Hopefully he's impressed this time. Hey buddy, what do you think now, huh? The big snake looked stuffy up and down, and shook his head with a passion. What do you mean? Bitch had no idea snakes could care about fashion. So you want me to look like you? Alright, alright, back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board. Perhaps it's not the way I look. Perhaps it's my different knitting textures, maybe? I don't know, let's, let's see what, what I can do. Let's try to find what knitting it was. I think it was, I think it was other and... Grass fashion, I think, is the closest thing that I can think of. Yeah, it's gotta be this. It has to be this. This is gonna impress that snake. Let's go see. All right, you. Let's see if you like this, huh? What about now? It is a good start. But if you insist on going for a fashionable fit, there is no overdoing it. Back to the machine with you. What? Why? What do you mean? If you think I'm going back, to that fucking machine, then you can take your slithering ass And uh, yeah, we're gonna put some on my legs too Um, yeah, I think this will- I think this will definitely please a snake Yep, this has to please that fucking snake Alright man, <laughs> I think I'm ready It is a good start What?! <laughs> Alright, well I forgot to tell you guys that, uh, I have a power. I have a power in this game. It's called teleportation, and we're gonna just go fuck that snake. We're leaving. That's right. That's right. I beat it. I beat it fair and square. What was that? What the fuck? What is that on the mountain? First a snake, now this giant spider looking thing. It must have been an illusion. That was no illusion. That was not a fucking illusion. That was a giant metal spider on top of that mountain. An enormous black cave came into view, tunneling for miles into the mountain, taking them through. Oh, there's a cave over there. Okay, I gotta make it to the cave. I can use this again to hop over there. Let's go. One jump at a time, we're gonna make it inside this cave. We're almost there, just one more. Yeah! We're here. We're here at this giant cave. Well, Stuffy blinked and glitched side, and eventually one went in, with the other as his guide. Alright, we're going inside this cave, cause... Cause, you know, my guy decided to go- Wait, what? Look, the spider! There's a spider on the left side! I swear, I knew I wasn't crazy. All right, we've been exploring this cave for a few hours now. We just need to make it out. Oh look, the way out, cool. Oh, we're in a different place. This is really pretty, look at this view. Oh wow, look at this view. Just stop and look at this view for a second. This is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. These graphics in this game are pretty good. All right guys, well we came closer to the waterfall. And we're still moving along. I cut the clips a little bit just to move along a little faster. But yeah, we made it this far. And what's this? I need a button pressing hand. Okay. Well, I don't have that, so let's go create a button pressing hand. Oh, this guy has it. This guy has a button pressing hand. Okay. We're gonna go back there and see if this works. Let's test this out. Kaboom, kabam. And done. We're going down. It works. Alright, now we're two. We did that objective, now we're two. We are entering, I think, some sort of other cave? A mysterious gleam came towards them, and much to their surprise, a peculiar shaped mushroom attracted tiny fireflies. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it! We're supposed to make the way for these fireflies to go into that toad's mouth or something. Maybe he'll- maybe he'll move out of the way. Yeah, there we go! He's moving out of the way! Yeah, that was pretty cool. What is that noise? What was that? Behind the rocks, an immense eagle fought off a spider made of metal. Look, the spider! That's the spider I saw! Stuffy, run! But Stuffy wouldn't run. They had to make a stand. Glitch could think of something smart, and Stuffy could lend a hand. Okay, well, how am I supposed to help that giant eagle fight that fucking spider? 
We gotta think of something. That giant eagle needs my help. I'm here, eagle. I had to switch characters real quick in order to help this eagle. But we're gonna punch this rock. We're gonna push this. That's Just right, you metal spider bitch. Run away. The coast was clear. Free eagle. And the eagle left them behind. I'm proud of you, Glitch. We freed that eagle. We are heroes, Glitch. I'm proud of us, buddy. That red menacing look. The spider came their way, staring at Stuffy like he was a woolen buffet. Red! Stuffy Don't had to let run, him get you, like Stuffy! Pool. The spider was after his stuffing after his wool. Now move, both of you! Come on! Oh, look, the eagle! The eagle is here! Help me, eagle! Oh, are we flying? And away they were. We're flying away! Up by wings of wool. We did the it! The eagle saved me! Away from the threat, the eagle flew towards the horizon above the deep blue sea, giving Stuffy the sensation of flying, weightless, and feeling free. I always was spider food. The eagle left them behind on distant shores stranded. Thank you, Mr. Eagle! Thank you for saving us! Where had they landed? Where are we? To their left, a distant jungle followed the river inland, as high dunes seemed to contain them on this stretched out strand. Oh yeah, I see the jungle, it's over there at the top. Are we in some sort of beach area now? The beach is so full of life. Hey, we are! We are in a beach! What is this? What do we have to do here? Stomp? Okay. Yeah! Oh, I get it. I get this. We're supposed to line all these up. I know the ending is supposed to look like this because there's no other way it'll go inside that hole unless it looks like this. So it's got to be through here. We connect that. That'll connect to here. Yeah, yeah, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This should be the last part. This has to be it. This has to be it. Come on. Hey, I did it. There we go. I'm powering it up. Oh, it's, uh, it's more puzzles. We gotta solve more puzzles. So the gears on the right side are working, so I fixed that, but the gears on the left side don't seem to be working. All right, let's check out this door. Oh, it says I can punch this door here. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh, this is like a pattern. Okay, okay, I, I see what you mean. I'm guessing that's the last thing to do to get this door open. Hey, look, I found a cave. I found a cave inside of here. Oh, this is one of those caves where I can shine the light. Oh, look, that's the pattern. That's the that's the key pattern. Okay, I got to take a picture of this real quick. All right, I'll keep that, and I'm going to go and see if I can unlock that door over there. All right, so the bottom one is wrong. That's supposed to be something else, so let's switch that real quick. Is this it? No, that's not the right one. I think the next one's it. Yep, okay, so that bottom one's correct. And then the middle one's supposed to be a square thing, so I believe that one's next too. All right, that's good. The top one's supposed to be, the top one's supposed to be a triangle thing with a circle on top of it. All right, we need one more to go, and hopefully this door opens. Oh, yeah, it's working. The hill moved and roared. A metal Wait, beetle snapped what? its jaws. A beetle? It snatched up Stuffy and took him deep into its bowels. What is it happening? Had wait for so long, awaiting a moment just like this. The beetle rushed off, leaving Glitch behind, and cut a path deep into the jungle abyss. What? Glitch, hurry and save Stuffy. Help me, Glitch! A giant beetle just ate me! Glitch should have never taken his eye off his friend. There, there he could see the machine run just around the bend. After him. Help me, Glitch. Save me. Oh, this is so cool. I get to be Glitch. Okay, I'm going to go through here. Go through here. I'm coming, Stuffy. I'm a little bug named Glitch, but I'm coming. Oh, I think the light is, uh, is letting me cross. Yes, I'm keeping going. Stuffy. Oh, what? fuck. Woolen plants attacking metal. Ha! Oh, Get out of here! Don't eat me, piranha plant! You don't want to eat this! Plus, I'm metal. I'm not nutritious. This jungle is full of things that want to eat me. The beetle had taken Stuffy to some sort of metal conclave, awaiting who knew what dark fate. The beetle suddenly seemed to have little eye for Stuffy, retreating into the cave. 
This could be Glitch's chance. He shouldn't wait. Oh, I see you, Stuffy. I'm coming. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. I'm coming, Stuffy. I'm sorry I lost my eye on you. But I'm here now. I'm here to rescue you. Stuffy was unharmed and even seemed excited. For it had been a wild ride. But they were once again reunited. Sorry, everyone, but for the sake of spoilers, I can't continue further and I'm gonna have to stop the video here. If you enjoyed watching me play this game and you want to find out what happens next, then you can go ahead and download Woven by clicking the link in the description. Take care.